Hello and welcome to Hit the Target powered by Hollywood Bets. I'm your host, Tershawn, and with me in studio today are Premier League analysts Keba Mochokai and Nigel Naika. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for having us. Great to be here, Dash. Let's cut to the chase. It is top half Man United. Mm -hmm. First top of the table, Arsenal at the Theatre of Dreams. Or as I like to call it, Manchester United's funeral. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nigel, what do you have to say about that? Well, I think we're going to come there in good spirits, so mm. hopefully it is going to be their funeral this weekend. Yeah, yeah. they're going to bury United. I'm a United fan and they're going to bury us under a lot of goals. Mm. Unless something ridiculous happens which always seems to happen whenever Arsenal comes to World Travel yeah. but <laughs> this time uh, Arsenal being it like a team of destiny yeah I think a 3-0 take yeah. the points go back to London I see um I'm trying to figure out which result is actually worse Burnley or Coventry because uh, Nigel and I, he's been coming to my desk with his mates and giving me the business, telling me how rubbish they are. <laughs> yeah. United is. But I still think that the draw with Burnley is definitely worse than the implosion against Coventry because Coventry was the magic, the romance of FA Cup football. Yeah. Burnley is gone. They're being flushed down the toilet into the championship next season. And they still came and gave United a game and mm. should have won that game. Mm. Crystal Palace, we knew they were going to slap United. We just, I said 3-1 to Crystal Palace. Four goals. I was right about four goals, but all four went into United. <laughs> yeah. you know You know, with United being the establishment that it actually is, look at the signings that have come through the door. You look at Johnny Evans signing for, or rather re-signing for Man United under Ten Hag, Casemiro, a Real Madrid, you know, has been. I think I've seen Spaza shops that are run oh better. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen Spaza shops with more business acumen yeah. than United. Pick Jadon Sancho out of United's environment, put him into a Dortmund environment, yeah. see him. I think he's picked up back to the back man of the match performances in the UEFA Champions League. Yeah, um, I think I saw a stat that Sancho has made a Champions League, oh, the, the, the Champions League final this season, and United have won only one Champions League go, uh, game this season. Yeah, so. United, <laughs> I have to say though, United could turn Erling Haaland into a traffic cone. <laughs> <laughs> they could literally turn him into a traffic yeah. cone, just to give you an idea of how terrible the environment. Sorry to interrupt you, but mm. Nigel, that's how annoyed I am right yeah. now. Well, of course, you know, United are stacked with wingers. If you look yeah. at Rashford, his best season, I want to say, was last year. Um, or potentially, if you want to call it, uh, his season under Mourinho. Yeah. Another season where he played off the wing. You know, he's kind of like a striker who came off the wing and, you know, finished. Look at Sancho, you know, what he's doing at Dortmund, also on the wing. Plays like a Nacho, Anthony they do get you up your feet. Do you think Ten Hag can coach wingers like that? I think there are more wings in the United team than in a KFC bucket. It's just oh wings, 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 <laughs> underperforming. It's just, um, I, I, I don't know, man. Look at that.